One of those things that we tend to become more aware of the longer we journey with the Lord is our sinfulness. Those things that separate us from a holy and righteous God. If your heart's desire is to go from milk to meat, if your heart's desire is to grow so much so that you don't live like earth is your final destination, you need to know very clearly you're not as good as you think you are. I know how we do. Y'all know how we do. We really like to project that we're a whole lot better than we are. But if this is a safe place, can we be honest? We really ain't as good as we like people to make them. We're really not that good. We're not. We're not. But God can be glorified when we acknowledge that. When I was growing up, my mom used to get on me about using the word hate. She'd be like, you can strongly dislike, you can strongly disapprove, but hate, that's just a bad word. Well, mama, if you're watching, I'm going to need, you, I'm gonna need your, your grace on this one. <laughs> if you want to grow in the things of God, you've got to hate your sin. Not play with it, not justify it, not make excuses for it. You've got to hate your sin. Because your sin, my sin, our sin put Jesus on the cross. And he didn't have to do it. I want to give you two real practical takeaways. Two real practical takeaways about hating your sin and admitting just how sinful you are. Number one, the more you hate your sin, the more you grow spiritually. You can't entertain and make excuses for your sin, but expect to grow spiritually. That's like, that's like saying, I want to I wanna get healthy. And yet you're still eating little Debbie oatmeal cream pies. <laughs> I'm not saying you got to hate the cream pies. You just can't be eating them. <laughs> the more you hate your sin, the more you spiritually grow. The second thing I would tell you is this. When you're honest with yourself about your shortcomings, the evil one can't use them against you. Somebody internally needs to say hallelujah. You came today for that statement right there. When you know yourself enough to be honest with the good and the not so good, it can't be hung over your head. There's freedom in that. We gotta hate our sin if we want to grow in the things of God. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.